How to use the Signal Builder Indicator The main function of this indicator is to visualize the deal start condition and exit order condition options offered by the DCA bots from three commas. To access it, just go to the Trading View page on the three commas profile and add it to your favorites. Then go to Favorite Indicators and you'll see it available. Click on it and it will appear on your chart. In this exercise, we will demonstrate how a 14-period RSI, as most traders use, would look when it crosses below the 30 level. We disable all cell entries, no exits, and we don't want moving averages applied. We select the 14-period RSI crossing below the 30 level. These would be the signals on the weekly chart. If we add another condition, for example, a trend indicator, we will use moving averages with the fast one above the slow one to send us this signal for entries. Here it is enabled, and we don't get any signals because the condition is not met. If we were to activate a long bot with these conditions, we would not receive any signal in three commas, and no trade would be executed. On the other hand, if the RSI period is changed to seven as it comes by default in three commas, these would be the signals on the weekly chart, very few. But if we switch to the daily chart, we can see more signals. It is up to us to evaluate if it fits our trading style and risk tolerance. The indicator offers all the possible indicator options that the three commas DCA bot allows. So we can visualize it, choose the conditions, activate the DCA bot, and it will do the rest for us. By default, the indicator includes exit conditions. We can use any other indicator to activate exit conditions. In this case, we use the Bollinger Band percentage crossing above level one to exit long positions. In this case, we see these flags. In the settings section, we can go to style and change that color. Let's make them green. We know those are the exits for long positions. Similarly, we can change the color for shorts. We'll use red for those flags. These red flags indicate when the Bollinger Band percentage crosses below level zero. We would receive this signal and can use it as an exit condition in three commas. It would mean selecting Bollinger Band percentage. In this case, we are creating a bot for long positions. So it would be when it crosses above level one, and we would have the same conditions shown by these flags. All these conditions function as AND operators. So for example, if we disable the signals, we will disable exits for a moment and also disable the RSI. Since we have any entry signal as the fast moving average is above the slow one, as long as these moving averages are green, all candles will meet the entry condition. If we want to correct that, we can go in case we are only using moving averages to the entry section and set it so that the fast moving average crosses above the slow one for entries and crosses below the slow one for shorts. In this case, there would only be signals for moving average crosses, either up or down, that we selected in the indicator. In this case, it's 9 and 26, calculated as EMA. And this is how the conditions we would receive would look like, and they would be processed by the DCA bot.
The indicator also allows us to send signals to three commas via webhook. For this, we need to create both a long and short bot if we want to manage two bots at once, or just long if that's the case. It works for both single pair and multi pair bots. Let's suppose we're creating a long bot. In that case, we will select Trading View Custom Signal and Start Conditions. We will disable this condition. The same goes for exits if we use them, and we can use or not use safety orders, which will be managed by three commas. Additionally, for example, we can set exits so that even if a trading view signal arrives, the bot won't exit the trade unless the minimum profit conditions are met. When creating the bot, if we hit save, in this case, it would be a bot for Ethereum. The bot summary allows us to send messages to start or close a trade. This message is what will be sent from the trading view indicator to three commas. Therefore, we need to fill in these values exactly as they appear in those messages. Since this is a long bot, we need to copy the bot ID data into the long section. And if we created a short bot, this indicator can handle two bots simultaneously, long and short, with their respective exits, if enabled. We need to create a short bot and paste that bot ID here. The email token will be the same. If we select the How to Use option, it will show us a table with the data to compare with the message from three commas. In this case, we are creating a single pair bot, and although the message includes the pair we are using, it will work in the same way. This is because the indicator works for both single pair and multi pair bots simultaneously. We need to enable or disable these checkboxes for the signal to reach three commas. By default, only entries are activated. If we want to receive exits, we need to enable them so that three commas can process them. Once these details are filled in, we can hide the table after reviewing the messages and then click Create Alert. Additionally, if you want to receive simple buy or sell alerts and the respective exit, you will receive this message with the indicator name, the ticker, and the trading view chart. To send signals to three commas in the options, we must select any alert function call. Choose the name of the alert we want and go to the notification section to paste the three commas webhook so that the signals are sent to three commas. As explained in the tutorial, how to use. Once this is done, we hit create alert and this configuration will be received. In this case, the fast EMA crossing the slow one at the close for buys and the opposite for sells. So we add the alert, verify that the webhook is activated, paste the link, select the indicator, any alert function call to send the signals to three commas and click create. This way we can send the strategy we created with this indicator to the bots in three commas.